Hello dear friends in trick number 217 today i'm going to discuss an important statement problem based on linear equations in two variables now see whenever we talk of two digit numbers obviously there have to be two variables because one digit is in the units place and other is in the tens place so if we see the example of a two digit number say 23 when you write 23 in expanded notation this will be 10 into 2 plus 3 now see 3 is in the units place so it is multiplied by 1 so it is just written as it is but 2 being in the tens place this has to be multiplied by 10 so now in the expanded notation of any two digit number this 10 comes by default so this is the tens place 2 and this is the units place 3 so 23 is written as 10 into 2 plus 3 so the original number when you have to consider the original number assume it then you have to assume it as 10x plus y now in 10x plus y this digit x is actually the tens place of the number and this digit y is actually the units place of the number so the basic assumption of assuming any two digit number is that the number is written as 10x plus y remember this is the original number now many problems are based on reversing the order of the digits like 23 now 23 if we write in the reverse order it becomes 32 now 32 when write written in expanded notation 10 into 3 plus 2 now see 3 has interchanged its position and 2 has also interchanged the position so now x and y they interchange their positions so when we reverse the number the number obtained is 10y plus x so this is the original number 10x plus y and 10y plus x is the number obtained by reversing the order of the digits now remember 10x is not a digit 10 comes because x lies in the tens place so the digits are only x and y so if we have a particular statement in which sum of digits is mentioned the sum of digits of a two digit number then this sum of digits is only x plus y because the digits are x and y so sum of digits is only x plus y similarly the difference of digits now it depends on which digit is greater so it can be x minus y or it can be y minus x depending on which digit is greater similarly if you have product of digits given in the question then it will be x into y so these are some of the assumptions which we have to make whenever we have to solve statement problems related to this important concept of linear equations in two variables now once you know this basic concept we can solve some special problems now i have taken two problems here in which the use of the original number and the number obtained by reversing the digits will be there so in both the statements the sum of the sum of see we have the sum of two things one is a number of two digits and the other is number obtained by reversing so the number obtained by reversing so in both the cases we have taken a question in which the sum of a number that is the original number and its sum with the number obtained by reversing the digits it's just like saying 23 plus 32 or 71 plus 17 or 89 plus 98 right so this sum of these two numbers is given in the question as 99 in this case and 55 in this case and obviously if it is a Uh, question of linear equation in two variables then you need to have two equations to solve this question the number of variables 
if you have to find all the variables of a given question then you need to have an equal number of equations to solve the values solve for the values of those variables now this is the first condition in which the sum of the number and the number obtained by reversing the order of the digits is given what is the second condition given in this the second condition is that the difference now see difference of digits is 7 so obviously the difference of digits is either x minus y or y minus x so you have to start with x minus y first so we will take x minus y is 7 so i have written the second equation first so difference of digits is 7 so x minus y is 7 this is the difference of digits in this case we are given that product of digits is 6 now here difference was given and here product of digits is 6 so the product of digits means product is xy so xy is equal to 6 so in both the cases we have formulated one equation in two variables now let us come to the common part of the two questions now observe here that if you have the sum of these two numbers so 10x plus x will become 11x and y plus 10y this will become 11y so whenever you add any number of two digits with the number obtained by reversing the order of the digits the sum of these two numbers will always be divisible by 11 so see just you can check orally say we have 12 12 the number obtained by reversing the digits is 21 so if you add 12 and 21 it will give you 33 33 is divisible by 11 take some other number say we have 42 now 42 and 24 add up to 66 again the number is divisible by 11 so you can take any number of examples any two digit number and add it to the number obtained by reversing the digits the answer will always be divisible by 11 so if you add these two numbers it will give you 11x plus 11y and 11 is common in these two so when you are given this sum as 99 you can obtain the sum of the digits that is the sum of the digits is x plus y see here we have x plus y whatever sum is given in the question just divide that sum by this number 11 you get the sum of the digits and that's what is required we have to frame one more equation so x plus y is obtained by dividing this number that is the sum of the number and number obtained by reversing the digits by a constant quantity 11 so you get 9 here and now you can solve it very easily to get the values of x and y now see so y cancels out 2x becomes 16 so x becomes 8 put the value of uh, x here you get y equal to 1 so when x is 8 y is 1 the number is 10x plus y that is 10 into 8 plus 1 81 is your answer now coming to the next part here in this uh, second part we have the product of digits as 6 now see the number given here is 55 the sum of these two numbers is 55 so just divide it by 11 you get the sum of the digits of the number so 55 divided by 11 gives you 5 now you can solve this by hit and trial also or you can use elimination method to solve these two equations but in competitive exams you just need to know the values of x and y so if you try to guess two numbers whose sum is 5 and whose product is 6 very easy the numbers are 3 and 2 so 3 into 2 is 6 and 3 plus 2 is 5 so x is 3 and y is 2 so when you 
want to know the number 10x plus y then just put 10 into 3 plus 2 you get the answer as 32 or if you take it otherwise then x can be 2 and y can be 3 so the answer will be 23 so in any case you will have the digits as 2 and 3 so this is one of the very important questions in class 10th also and in competitions also so if you like the video share and subscribe the channel